Right boys, so here today we are doing a new video on ranking the world's best midfielders. Now this is a list so it's probably missed a few players out, but alas, let's move into it. So we've got GOAT tier, Elite tier, World Class, Very Good and Overrated. I probably would prefer a tier between Very Good and Overrated, but we'll we'll move, we'll move, we'll go. So we start off with Xabi Alonso. What a career he had, it was absolutely fantastic. Mm. I'm going to stick him in world class, boys, world class. Maybe teetering on the edge of elite, but we're going there. Michael Balak, I'm going to have alongside him because I thought Balak was absolutely fantastic. He had such techers, big, strong, just big, strong and full of techers, basically. David Beckham, we have got to put him in the elite tier. He had Ballon d'Or worthy years. He was brilliant, man. David Beckham is so underrated. But maybe he's, he's underrated by a lot because he didn't have pace and he didn't have the... Well, he wasn't slow, but he didn't have the goals either that winger would score but the game was different back then bernardo silva i think he's got to go in world class as well absolutely top top draw top mm, maybe yeah i think i'm happy with that busquets mm, this has got to be straight up in goats the best city midfielder of all time in my opinion absolutely by far as well second is this man casemiro but i'm gonna have to stick him in elite elite is in no order in the tiers they're not in no order so they're just going they're just going in the tier what they are philippe coutinho I mean, at his best at Liverpool, very good, I would say. Maybe a tad overrated now, but I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt for now. Edgar Davids, mm, does he go world class or very good? I think... I think if Coutinho's in very good, I think you've got to put Edgar Davids in world class. He won a lot of stuff. Frankie, I really like Frankie now, but I think he goes very good for now, even though I think he's one of the best in the world currently. Maybe world class then? Maybe? What do I think? Um, mm, I don't want to put him in the same one as Coutinho. I think he's better than Coutinho. So we'll move from there. Ericsson has got to go in. Very good for me. He's, he's very good. Michael Essien. Oh, I really loved Essien, man. The goal against Barca. Just an absolute powerhouse of a midfielder. He's gaining world class as well. Fabinho. I do think Fabinho is one of the best CDMs in the world at one point. But I think I'm putting him... I'm going to put him in very good. Cesc Fabregas definitely goes in world class. Maybe even elite, actually, you know. The way he played in so many different positions, he was like an attacking midfielder, kind of. Scored goals when he come through. Then he was a sitter at Chelsea. Do you know what? I think I'm putting him in elite. I think Cesc is... Cesc is better than these, in my opinion. Bruno Fernandes, I absolutely rate him massively. How can you not rate Bruno Fernandes? Just the goals he scores, the creativity he's got. It's like second only to De Bruyne in the league. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm comfortable putting him in world class. Fernandinho, I think world class is gonna be one of the the fullest tiers here, boys. So it is what it is. Fernandinho definitely world class. Luis Figo is getting an elite Ballon d'Or winning player. Absolutely world class. Played for played for Barca and Real. So he's getting an elite. Phil Foden, I'm gonna put him very good. I don't think he's overrated yet. He, he clear he hasn't he hasn't been as good as he should be so far after the early promise, but I think very good. I'm not gonna be unfair and put him in overrated. So Gaza, 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 Gaza. I think like I mean we rate him a lot for being English and he was a really good player, but I think world class. I mean, look at the caliber of players in there. I think I don't want to be English bias. I can't put him in elite like up at David Beckham's level and stuff. In my opinion, just my opinion. Stevie G. Uh, I'm gonna put Stevie G in world class as well. He probably would be at the beginning. He probably would be up near the top. But I can't put him in the same category as Orkana. Orkana, I do really, really rate Stevie G. Stevie G, I'm putting in elite. I'm putting in elite. I've, uh, there we go. It's done. Ryan Giggs. Mm. Ryan Giggs is either world class or elite. I think he's the Premier League all time leading assister. Do I put him at world class or elite? I don't think he was at Beckham's level, boys. I, I don't. So I'm going to stick him in world class. Gilberto Silva. Again, it's world class. Gilberto Silva was brilliant. He was a massive part of the Invincibles. Just an incredible, incredible oldie midfielder. Jack Grealish, I'm going to put very good. Probably at the top. But yeah, I'll go very good. Gundogan. Mm, you see now, he's like, he's very clutch and he's won a lot. His actual goals and the assists have won a lot for Man City over the years. But I don't know whether I put him world class or if he's just one of them, like, players who just pops up with stuff when it's needed and it makes him look a bit better. I, I mean, I rate him as a, I, obviously, I rate him as a footballer because he's phenomenal, but mm, I think I've got to, I've got to put him in world class. I can't put him in the same tier as Philippe Coutinho. I just can't. Jordan Anderson, I'm going to put very good. Maybe at the top. I've got to give him his due. He's captain. Captain of Liverpool's best times of my lifetime. So I think 
I couldn't put him world class, even though I do rate him as a footballer. Paul Lentz. I'm going to go with very good for Paul Lentz as well. Mm, I don't know, actually. With the players above him, does he go in world class? I'm going to stick him in there for now, anyway. Now we're going to see the second entry for the GOAT, and that is Iniesta, who I think is the best midfielder of all time, especially in my lifetime, anyway, because I can obviously only judge people who I've seen, really. So, Kaka. Ooh, Kaka goes straight to elite. Kaka. Kaka AC Milan was absolutely phenomenal. I think he's very underrated. I do by a lot of people who were just not old enough to have seen him in his prime. Like when he destroyed Man United, it was just absolutely, it was just absolutely mesmeric. What a player. Kaka's one of my favorites of all time. Kante, I'm going to put Kante in elite as well. Kante, absolutely. Won the league with Leicester. Went to Chelsea. Won the league there. He's won Champions League. He's brilliant. One World Cup with France. Absolutely top, top, top player. Kevin De Bruyne. I'm going to put him in elite. I'm going to put him between Kaká and Bex because De Bruyne is the best Premier League midfielder ever. Roy Keane is going, is going in elite as well. Probably the best captain of, in, the, in the Premier League era. That's what I'd say. Absolutely brilliant. People just thought he was a kicker and he was like just captain like a Jordan Anderson kind of thing where they shout at him. But he had absolute pure techers as well. Joshua Kimmich, I rate him so highly, but do I go elite or world class? Do you know what? I'm going to put him towards the top of world class. I do rate Kimmich, and he's probably one of the best in the world at the men, but elite, I'm trying to keep down to the absolute top, top, top draw ones. Like this man. Like this man. Tony Crows is one of the most underrated players of all time. Every time I say that Tony Crows is better than this player, that player, they're like, how are you choosing Tony Crows? I'm like, Tony Crows runs the game. There is literally a reason why Paul Scholes was watching videos of Crows towards the end of his career, and he come out and said that. Tony Crows is one of the very, very best midfielders I've ever seen. And rightfully so, he goes this far on the list. Frank Lampard, I've got to put him in the same as Stevie G. I'd personally take Lampard slightly over Stevie G just because of the goals, but either way, both of them were brilliant. Matt Letissier, I mean... I don't know where I could put him because he's probably he's a little bit before my time and I don't even think he's an out and out midfielder like these boys. So I'm going to put him in very good. I'm going to put him in very good. I know he's a Southampton legend, but we move. Makaleli, 100% world class. I don't think I, I would I would take Kante over Makaleli personally. So I'm going to put Makaleli in world class. I put him higher up in world class, but I know it's the Makaleli role and all that, but I'm taking Kante. I, but world class is appreciating his talent. You know what I mean? I'm not like saying he's bad same goes for Mascherano he was brilliant played center back and CDM of course absolutely top top player aggression levels through the roof Modric is another one now who goes into goats you see I don't really like putting this many people in goats because goats should be reserved for the just the one player the best player in the position in my opinion but Modric is that good he's got to play he's got to go and goats he's got to Pavel Nedved another Ballon d'Or winning player it's more of a way he's a winger but still we'll go we'll stick him in i'd stick him in there we'll stick him in elite because he is ballon d'or winning midfielder even if it's wide midfielder Overmars was very very good but he's going in he's going in world class for me Overmars. very fast very good player but just world class for me perez now i know perez was brilliant like brilliant and the fact i've got lamps and gerard in elite does that mean that perez goes in elite or do i just count him as a really really top end world class I think I'm going to go top end world class for Perez. If I've got if I've got gigs in there, I think it's got to be. It's got to be. Pirlo. Mm, this is a good one. So does that go in GOAT or does it go in Elite? I think it goes in Elite, boys. I think it goes in Elite. Just my opinion. I think he was fantastic. And obviously the top end of Elite is full of absolutely world class, awesome players. So I, I'm, I'm happy putting him there. I'm happy putting him there. Merlin Pjanic will go overrated. First overrated guy of the video. I don't think he was that good. He was all right, but just wasn't that good. Paul Pogba, I'm going to have sticking overrated as well. On his day, he is an on his day merchant, but he just wasn't. He didn't do it anywhere near enough, did he? But when he was playing alongside Kante in the World Cup and stuff like that, phenomenal. Tekka's level is like Zidane level, in my opinion. Phenomenal player, but just overrated because he just didn't do it enough. Rikalme is another one who I think is overrated, but people say like he was this, he was that. Probably mainly because he's an icon. 
second on FIFA and stuff, but he just wasn't. I'd like when I was watching when he was playing for Villarreal and stuff like that. He was clearly full attackers, but he was playing at Villarreal. I know Villarreal one of the better teams at the time, but he, he didn't make it at Barca. He just he, he wasn't he wasn't what people remember him as. For me, Rivaldo Rivaldo goes right up the top of the list. Rivaldo was absolutely unreal. The fact that like Rivaldo Ronaldinho R9 and Adriano and stuff like that were playing together for a little bit is absolutely incredible. Rodri, I think Rodri's got a shout for going to GOAT, but after the treble winning season he's just had, he definitely goes into elite for me. He's the best CDM in the world. He has been for a couple of years, in my opinion. He's just, he, he's so close to Sergi Busquets and how he plays. He's just, he's got to be up there. He's very early as well on the list. Ronaldinho, I think Ronaldinho just gets in, gets in on GOAT. He's got to, I really rate Kaka, I really, really rate Kaka, but Ronaldinho has got to go in GOAT. GOAT is in no order, boys, because he'd like, they're phenomenal players. Paul Scholes, I'm going to put him in elite. I'm going to put him high up in elite as well. I'd put him behind Kroos, but I'll put him in elite. Bastian Schweinsteiger, I'd say, I'd say world class for Schweinsteiger. Probably put him up a few, put him up a few in there, but I'd like to say it's not in no order, so it makes no odds. Uh, Clarence Seydorf, I would go in elite, 100%. Seydorf was an absolute player. I think he won Champions Leagues with three different clubs. I'm pretty sure he did. Like, that is some going, some going. David Silva goes in elite for sure. If we've got Lamps and Gerrard, then he goes in elite without a shadow of a doubt. Thiago Alcantara. I, I think he's a little bit overrated, but I do appreciate how class he is. So I'm going to put him in world class because techers wise, he's phenomenal. So can't complain at that. Verratti. Verratti's a very, very, very good player. But I wouldn't have him in elite. So he's going in world class as well. Like most players so far. Juan Sebastian Veron. He didn't have the... I mean, he had, a, he had a poor time at Man United and Chelsea. But before that, he was unreal. So I'm going to put him in very good though still. I just don't think that he... The fact he failed at Man United. Chelsea, it just he can't go in world class for me. He just can't. Although some of these players I could see, and he was phenomenal. At, I'm sure it was Lazio, but mm, mm, I'm happy with that. Patrick Vieira in elite, pretty high up in elite. Not like it matters. Xavi is another entrant for goats. We've got five goats as it stands, boys, and I'm completely happy with all of them. Yaya Toure, Yaya Toure's got to go in elite as well. The the season that Torre had, probably the best midfielder season ever in the Prem. Certainly up there anyway. And then Zizou joins in GOAT as well. So what do you think of the list, boys? Do you agree? Put it in the comments if you don't. And drop a like, subscribe to the channel, or follow if you're on TikTok. And until next time, peace.